relationship with Christ has become more than like a religion, it's my relationship. Spiritually, the program has helped me a lot. I feel like knowing that you have a whole team to back you up, like it's your family and Coach Babs, it's his number one priority. Leading spiritually is, is one of my favorite parts of uh, being a head softball coach at a Christian university. In high school, it was what my parents did, I did what they said I thought and getting here and becoming more independent I feel like it's I've really grown and I've found my own relationship. I feel like Coach Babs really pushes us to grow spiritually and um, presents us with the opportunities to grow spiritually instead of just assuming that we're at a Christian university that we're going to grow spiritually. Babs does a great job of, of relating and incorporating softball with Christianity and a relationship with Christ. Sometimes the other coaches throw in uh, devotionals that are on their heart as well and I'd say they're just in there because um, past two of our coaches are past players and they've really uh, just shown us that they really want to come back and contribute. Honestly I look up to coaches so much and especially our coaches that we have here. I feel like if I'm struggling with anything like they always have an open door. They have like this open door policy to where you can go in there and talk to them about life, about stuff like you're struggling with at home or stuff that you're struggling with academically or spiritually. You see Jesus in him every day and in everything that he does. And that's just been something that's so awesome to see as a player and as a coach and learn from that and try to go off that example. To be a spiritual leader, first and foremost, I've got to, I've got to put them in a position where they see Christ. And before I can do that, I need to make sure that I'm seeing Christ every day. family it really is like I have 21 sisters and sometimes it can get a little crazy but um, I feel like we're always there for each other no matter what the team relationships are just really important to me I feel like I'm really a relationable person like that's really high up on my list and that's how I relate to people so um, I mean I can just I can go up to anybody on the team and have like a nice funny conversation and then at the same time have like a really good in-depth conversation and like just ask them where they're at spiritually or what they're struggling with or what is going on in their life that's good or bad or whatever. So I just feel like, I mean the girls are like my, like I said, they're like my family. It's a bond that I truly can't describe. It's, it's something special. Unless you've been a part of it, it's, it's hard to describe. So much support on this team and so much love and there's not, there's not a doubt in my mind that I can walk up to any girl and share any problem that I'm struggling with and I know that they're going to be a prayer or warrior for me and that I can just uh, glorify God and make softball a platform for him and glorify him. Me and, me and Coach have a really cool relationship. I feel like um, he challenges me and he'll be honest with me. Everyone on our team is an individual and um, what I try to do is figure out how they're geared, find out what their background is, figure out, um, man, what they're passionate about off of the field. Want to get into their lives in such a way where they, um, they know that I care. But he's very personable, very relatable, really down to earth. Um, so I feel like my relationship with him is, is really cool. It's, um, I just, I look up to him a ton. When I look for an individual, um, when I'm recruiting an individual, I'm looking for the kind of people that I really want my kids to grow up to become. It's not what you say, it's what you do. And he, all four of them, live their lives truly to, by God's will. I'm looking for a girl that can play. Um, I love aggressive uh, play. I love girls who, who pay attention to detail. A girl who is a softball player and who is competitive and who will do anything it takes to get better and who won't stop at the level that everyone else is stopping at, who will go the extra mile. I want somebody who wants to make a difference in the world. Um, I have this acronym called BAM, uh, Be a Miracle. Um, in your everyday life, you know, look for a chance to pay it forward, look for a chance to, to, to leave things better than you found it. We are looking for kids that buy in to a coaching philosophy, not kids that are just the best in their area, but kids that, that understand that, that the first day on campus, that's when they should be, that's when they should be the worst in their whole college career, because the next day they should get better, the next day after that they should be better than that, and keep adding on to their abilities.
my seniors every year will leave a legacy of life is not made to be lived together. Life is made to, to link up arms and go forward to be world changers, making positive, godly, eternal ripples for the kingdom. There's so much that you can get here that you couldn't get like at a bigger school or even at like another NAI school. Like this school is so dedicated to growing you as a person and developing your character and just being the best player you can be also. So I mean, I enjoy it so much. I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't choose anywhere else to go. Being on a softball team here gives you that chance to find yourself, be on a team that loves God just as much as you do, and you can, you can be a softball player, but you can do it for a completely different reason. And I think that each and every one of us on the team, coaches included, we know when we step on the practice field or step on during game time, we're not doing it to win for ourselves. We're not doing it to win for mom and dads. We're doing it for the glory of God. And I think IWU is the perfect place to do it. And, and it's really humbling to see, you know, 21 other girls doing the same exact thing. I love this campus. I love my team. It's, it's a blessing and I'm so privileged to be a part of it. Softball here is, is is, it's not it's not life like it would be you know at a huge school you're dedicated and you're getting after it but um, it's so much more than just softball. If you want some lifelong relationships, kids that are not going to let you down, they're going to be there for you through thick and thin, and they're going to be there ten years later. Also, if you want that, then here's here here we are. Come and join us.